something about when I'm in the moment photographing an animal, it just moves me. It's just like my soul is just like, oh my gosh, this is a living creature. This is so special. I'm sharing this moment with them. I'm in their home. I feel as humans, we can be so just selfish and in our own world that wildlife, you know, wakes you up to like, oh my gosh, there are other special living things on this earth just besides us. And that's so special and we need to take care of that and we need to protect that. I'm Charlie Savely and I am a travel adventure wildlife photographer. I was born and raised in Bristol, England and I have moved around my whole life in search of home. What excites me about photographing in Alaska is it's just so massive and you have to fly to most places and that adventure could literally take a lifetime. I think the exciting part about it for me is that you never know what's going to happen. You never know if it's going to be crappy weather or all of a sudden a hundred bears are going to pop up out of nowhere. So it kind of always um, has you like on edge, like you're always need to be ready and like is something gonna pop up and I think that's like what's exciting for me and sometimes it can happen when you least expect it but and you're just like oh my gosh there's this animal randomly here and that's really exciting I find almost constantly if I am on a, you know, travel adventure kind of trip or a job that I am almost always the only female photographer. I think photography is definitely not for the faint of heart, um, especially the realm I'm in. You know, it's just important to you know, equally have as many women in this field because we do bring a different pr perspective. We do bring an intuitive, emotional side, which I do think is really important for reading wildlife and understanding them. My biggest advice for female workshop students is master your camera. You don't need anyone else to help you. There's actually so much freedom in that and you can get so creative, you can get the photo to be exactly how you envision it to be and you don't need to rely on someone else's help with that. To not be intimidated by getting into, you know, realms like landscape and um, wildlife. There's definitely space for everyone. I find it in myself and in students that we continually undervalue ourselves and that's what I try to build up is, you know, become a Beyonce, de demand what you're worth. I would like my legacy to be that I tried my best to be a good person. I tried my best to raise awareness about important issues. And, and I think if I can inspire others to do the same, then that would just make me happy.